I did something really, really not smart a minute ago. <laughs> so I got out of the shower and usually I have like an order of, you know, how I do my face products, probably like everybody does, right? Usually like toner, then the lotion, you know, you know? Um, so what I accidentally did was, I accidentally just went straight for the lotion and then I lotioned my body too. And I was thinking, like as soon as I got done with like lotioning my body, I was thinking, oh no, I just realized I didn't use my toner because it was still sitting there. So I, grabbed my toner and put it on my face. I didn't rewash my face or anything. So I put toner on with lotion already on. And then of course, as I'm sitting there doing this, I'm thinking, this is not right. This is really, really bad. Then, okay, <laughs> you think I wanna stop there. Then instead of just like restarting everything, no, I just decided I'll just go put lotion on really quick. And just, you know, cause I got to like, basically like right here. And I was thinking, you know, this is a bad idea. So. Then I put lotion on my face, but I didn't wash my hands first. So I accidentally put body lotion in with my freaking face lotion on my face and did everything out of the water. So what I'm telling you is my chin feels like it's on fire. <laughs> Hopefully it's okay. It doesn't really, I don't know. I don't really feel like it looks like anything, but it feels like it feels like it's really excited. So hopefully that goes okay. All right, that's not what I was here to tell y'all. So I'm making Fairy's topple. So we're just gonna use the small topple today. Um, she is trying the Nom Nom Turkey for the first time. All right, so topple's done. I'm gonna grab my sunglasses before we go out. But I did wanna talk about, okay, so the turkey nom nom that we're trying, it does have rice in it. And so that's one that I would absolutely skip if we um, decide to, you know, go with them. Um, just because the rice, and that was the whole thing that was kind of bothering me about some other foods, they have rice in them. So the turkey flavor has rice, none of the other flavors have rice. But um, I do wanna let her try it just because she wants to try it. She's loving it. I mean, who wouldn't love it though? It smells really good. It smells really, really good. I'm gonna be real. They sent it to us to try it. And so, you know, if I was buying it, then I wouldn't have bought the turkey one. But honestly, ever since we got in, she has been trying to smell that turkey pack like every time in the freezer. I don't know how she can smell it through the packaging because it's sealed up. She loves this one though. She's like going crazy over it. So she's been getting a topple in the daytime, like around around lunchtime. And then at nighttime, she's been getting a lick mat. What I'm doing is putting um, nom nom, which is, it's lightly cooked wet food, but it's just fresh and it's in a little packet and y'all have seen. So what I've been doing is giving her some of that during the daytime. And then I've been giving her some freeze dried raw at night and then she can have kibble basically whenever and it's still probably maybe it might be enough to replace maybe 50 percent of her meal of her you know whole entire day's worth of food which is kind of all i'm looking for like i'm not trying to get her off a of kibble it is something that you can use if you have to travel or something like it's really good just to have that in their diet and i feel like having that as maybe 50 percent is something i'm really comfortable with um but also you know, it's easier just to make sure that number one, you can always have it on stock. Like if anything happened, you couldn't get fresh for some reason. It's typically more budget friendly too, to have some kibble. And also the other thing, guys, as long as all her tests come back great on um, her hair Q test, like I am not trying to really go through and change a ton of stuff. Like I, I like the idea of adding some fresh, like I've been doing and some free start raw, but like, you know, the only way that I'm gonna totally change her food completely and like completely do something different is if this hair cue test comes back like really shitty. And I have a lot of confidence that it's gonna be okay because the brand that I get her food from that she's eaten her whole entire life is a really, really good brand. And I just feel like everything's gonna be okay. I mean, I'm open to change if I have to, but I'd rather not. So anyway, I'm actually gonna go eat lunch myself. I. As y'all know, I trimmed Fairby's hair this morning, shaved her, all that good stuff. And then I fed her her topple first. I wasn't sure what I really wanted because I kind of bounced between peanut butter and jelly sandwich like every day for lunch in the winter time or whenever it's like colder out. And then I always have a smoothie every day for lunch if it's like summer or, you know, a nice day. Um, 
but I didn't know what I wanted today and I had stuff for peanut butter and jelly and that kind of sounded good but I'm like I also have stuff for smoothie and that kind of sounds good. I actually want to show y'all my temperature blanket too so let me go eat and then I'll show you my temperature blanket. I went with a pb and j I love it and I'm so excited about it for a lot of reasons but you're gonna see it's kind of looking funky and I think it'll like look it'll look better I'm pretty sure in the long run hopefully but if not it's still been fun okay so this is how big it is can y'all see i think you can see the bottom yeah so that's how big it is isn't that crazy let's talk about this ugly thing so um yeah i feel like where's the freaking edge this part up here with the this this part that you can see now this is where i am now like that's where the needles are and this is the part that was like the winter time and cooler months so i just want to say i love this section like so much like all of this like ooh, i love it and even like up to like here like i'm still good but at this point it's really getting into some serious like color blocking of only these two colors and i can't wait to be out of this part just because i don't i don't like the way it looks and also if you knit you probably understand or any type of craft i guess i'm tired of using the same two colors and i know it's the same stitch over and over but the fact that it's like the same two freaking colors over and over and it's like this freaking hot ass pink that's that much of it it's a little bit not what i was expecting in case you're wondering what that's through so the part that i just showed you is completely done through uh july 7th so i'm about what Today's August 26th, I think. I'm quite a ways back. Like, what is that? Maybe six, seven weeks back, which is totally fine. Um, I typically will knit more in the winter time, so that's absolutely fine because whenever it gets cooler, I'll just have, you know, more rows to finish. The colors are funky, y'all. I like all the colors. Like, I even like them all together. It's just whenever there's that much, like, big chunks of the same color and over and over it's kind of a little bit much i think it's gonna look cool whenever it's done and the cool thing is it's a blanket so i can always fold it in a way that you won't see like that part as much also that was why i never wanted to knit one before so that's why i've been knitting for almost 20 years and i've never made one and it's been a thing for like a while i've known about it for probably 15 of those years so i never made one because i was always like "Ooh, i always think they're ugly and i finally decided to do it and i'm like oh i'll just do all pink and gray and that way you know how bad can that go that's how bad it can go i can't wait to see it done let me put it that way so i got the yarn from knit picks i'll link knit picks below for you guys if you haven't ever used them i really do like some of their yarns in their i call it cheap yarn i mean they're by the way i'm a yarn snob so whenever i say that i am not trying to be mean it's just i like like mcn and like stuff like that like really like a a cashmere blend or at least 100 percent merino you know like it at the very least so with this i just used i think it's their brava i think is what it's called and it's acrylic basically i just wanted to make a cheap blanket just to like not have to worry about if that makes sense like i wasn't gonna spend if i was gonna make a blanket that big with good yarn yeah it probably would have cost me around like 700 or more dollars to do that because i can do this for like a hundred or maybe a little bit less than that. I wanna talk about Fairby's hair really quick because I think it's so cute. First off, I shaved her ears with a one guard and I've never gotten that short before, but I love it. And you can't see the front because she's turned the wrong way, but it looks so cute. Here, look right here. Can they see your ears? Look how little her ears are. This will be the last time I cut her hair like that this year because it's pretty much almost September. So she's gonna be getting, you know, wanting to have some hair here pretty soon but i wanted to take her down just one more time for the year because it's so much easier to brush her like this i love it with this so short oh my gosh oh and by the way if you're wondering what i call this haircut on her i call it the pixie doodle i don't know what the hell this is i feel like it's like kind of a german poodle cut but then here's where we go crazy is the tail is still flow <laughs> so i don't know what it is i always tell her it's the pixie doodle bob so i don't know i don't know what it is it's just something i made up um, I think, I don't know, this might be a real haircut, but I have no idea. I'm not a groomer, so I don't know. But I think it's really cute. Um, I did her ears shorter than I ever have. I think the back of her hair might be a little bit shorter than this. Nah, I think I got it that short before, but her ears are shorter than they've ever been before, for sure. I think they're really, really cute. She's never had ears that are that naked, ever. 
I think is adorable. I just realized I forgot to brush her tail. All right guys, thanks for hanging out with us today. Hope you have an awesome week and we'll see you soon. Bye guys.